What's going on everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering and it's the heat is getting turned up on Disney in terms of their uh, filming in uh, China's Xinjiang area uh, in the shadows of ongoing internment camps for the Uyghur Muslim population uh, of which they are currently trying to erase from the face of the planet. I don't often get super serious on this channel, but uh, this video continues a, con considered a part two that I hope you watch through. I hope you interact by leaving, uh, you know, voting, liking it, leaving a comment and sharing it because I think it's our mission to just kind of, exp you know, share this information with as many normies as possible. Uh, so they know where their $30 is going, where, uh, when they see a film that is co-sponsored by Tencent, uh, they know. Uh, where that uh, money is going. And now the media is descending upon Disney. There's probably a hundred different articles today. Um, I think we had one of the first videos on YouTube covering it, which was awesome. And you all shared the heck out of it, which was really good. But now the media is getting involved and Disney is clamming up about it. The Wall Street Journal just published this moments ago. Disney's Mulan faces controversy over filming in China's Xinjiang. Movies production in region known for the inter Muslim internment camps sparks calls for boycott. It's not just the fact that they filmed in that area. It's that they also thanked the agency that runs them uh, in the end of the film. Uh, out of Hong Kong, Walt Disney uh, has a $200 million live action remake of Mulan. It's taking fire from human rights activists over the filmmakers cooperation with authorities in China's Xinjiang region. Uh, where officials have been accused of committing rights uh, abuses against millions of members of the Muslim minority groups. I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing Xinjiang correctly. It seems like I am. I don't know. It sounds, sounds cool. Uh, the movie's credits offer a special thanks to a number of Chinese Communist Party and government agencies, including eight in Xinjiang, a mountainous frontier uh, abutting Central Asia that about 12 million Turkic-speaking Muslim Uyghurs regard as their homeland. Grant Major, the Oscar-winning production designer who worked on the film, said a small position of the filming took place there. Film, uh, the, the film, if films anywhere in China require permission from local authorities. Uh, separatist sentiment has long simmered in Xinjiang, where re resistance in, to the Communist Party rule at times flared into uh, even worse bad attacks and things like that symbols of Beijing's authority in the country's Han Chinese majority. In recent years, Chinese leader Xi Jinping, also known as Winnie the Pooh, has sought to crush this movement with a high-intensity campaign that some Chinese policy researchers and rights activists estimate have put, estimate have put more than, and now listen to this, one million Uyghur and other Muslims through political indoctrination, indoctrination programs in mass detention camps. This is 2020, September 8th, 2020. The world went to war over this 70 years, 60 years ago. And everyone's just like, ah, cool. I want my cheap paper, paper plates. It's cool. I get some cheap batteries from China. I'm fine with this. You know, let's worry about, let's worry about, um, whether whether uh, orange man bad or not whether orange man uh had a booger fly out of his nose uh but let's not talk about like a literal uh operation <laughs> like like auschwitz happening right now in recent years chinese leader uh so oh, sorry i already hit that um Based on the ancient Chinese legend about a woman who disguised herself as a man and goes to war in practice of her aging father, Disney's Mulan remake features scenes depicting a stretch of the ancient Silk Road that ran through what the film describes as Northwest China. Human rights watchdogs, exiled Uyghur activists, and foreign academics have criticized Disney over the film's connection to Xinjiang and has U.S. Senator Josh Hawley on Twitter. Finally, we get some politicians involved in this. Um, I, I think that the, the most we can do as YouTube viewers is, you know, I can make the video, you can leave a comment, you can like the video, you can share the video. And, um, you know, the next time someone asks you about Milan, be like, hey, um, check this out. You know, I got a fun factoid. You know, like you say, hey, you like fun factoids? And then they'll probably say, yeah, because everyone likes fun factoids. And then you say, yeah, 
uh, you know, you, you know, at the end of that movie, uh, Disney literally thanks the people running internment camps in China, like right now. And then they'll say, oh, that isn't a fun factoid. And then you'll know you got them. Mulan is a patriot, but she shouldn't be placed in Jingjiang because patriotism has been forbidden there, where Uyghurs have been persecuted for showing their love of their homeland, said uh, somebody whose name I will not pronounce correctly. A Norway-based uh, Uyghur ling linguist and rights activist who has joined calls for to boycott the film. In China, patriotism is loving the Chinese Communist Party. And that's it. Disney chief executive Bob Chipak told Wall Street Journal, Wall Street analysts last month, that the company hoped the film, which premiered online for audiences in the U.S. this past weekend, would stimulate users to sign up for the company's Disney Plus streaming service. Well, based on early numbers from what I've seen, they saw a 65% increase in signups uh, for their app uh, in the during the week of the Mulan release. I don't know if you could say that's directly because of Mulan, but it you know it's highly likely to not be related. Now. It couldn't be determined how Disney or the Milan production crew co cooperated with authorities in Jingjiang, though some senior crew members previously indicated that they had traveled to the region to prepare for production. Mr. Major, the production designer, told the Wall Street Journal that he and other members of the production team spent days there doing research before a crew returned to film. He said the exterior uh, was filmed there due to the region's significance of the history of the ancient Silk Road. Um, on Tuesday, some Instagram users left angry comments on Miss Carol's nearly three-year-old post, criticizing what they saw as whitewashing of an alleged rights abuses in Jingjiang. Unbelievable how either unaware you are or how you just decided to ignore everything in around you. But hey, Disney, hey, money, one user wrote. Are you proud? Producers had wanted to film a significant portion of Mulan in China, but ultimately decided to shoot 90% of the film in New Zealand. Daunted by the logistics of transporting the entire crew large distances among locations, according to people familiar with the matter, they started filming in August 2018. Um, now, of course, everybody's picking up on this. Fox News, that was Wall Street Journal. Here's Fox News. Disney Mulan catches backlash for filming in China's Xinjiang province amid. It's not just that they filmed there, but they went out of the way, their way to thank the agency that's in charge of is in, is enslaving these people. I mean, I don't really know any other way to put it. You have Disney and here's CNBC, Disney under fire for thanking Chinese groups linked to the detention camps in Mulan credits. Disney is facing backlash after the final credits scene of Mulan thanked government entities in Xinjiang, this site of alleged human rights. I'd stop saying alleged. It's happening. All right. The film has already generated controversy after its lead actress supported uh, the boot on Hong Kong. We know that. The sentiment only increased after it came to light that Disney film scenes from Milan in movie in China's Xinjiang province, where Beijing is accused of detaining more than 1 million Uyghur Muslims. After releasing Mulan on Disney Plus, eagle eyed viewers notice a special thanks in the film's end credits that name the eight government entities in Xinjiang, including the Public Security Bureau in the city of Turpan, where the country is operating more than a dozen re education camps. The credits also thank the publicity department of the CPC Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomy Region Committee, an agency that provides state propaganda efforts. So they're the agency that covers up for uh, the literal the literal internment camps. I mean, think about that. When you pay to see the movie, you see here Mike Forsyth saying, so in December 2018, we called out McKinsey for holding a corporate retreat in Xinjiang but what Disney did by filming Mulan in the epicenter of Xinjiang detention camp network and then thanking the security forces there in the credits is an oddly different level. Representatives for Disney did not respond to CNBC's request for comment. China has been under scrutiny. Of course, um, you know, here even Hollywood Reporter picked up the story. Disney's not going to respond, I don't think. They even, you know, every major media outlet has run this story today. Um but Disney's just looking at the number of sales that they have from, from Mulan. And look, if you paid money to see it, I don't want you to like feel like a piece of garbage. You couldn't have known. But you know, if the $30 price take wasn't enough to skip it, if the bending the knee to Chinese censorship 
wasn't enough to skip it. Maybe, I don't know, maybe thanking the people that literally run internment camps right now in 2020 is reason to skip it and let anyone else know who's thinking about paying $30 for this film that they should probably put that money back in their pocket. Share this video, get involved in the comment section down below, and we'll talk to you again real soon.